So five main parts of a sentence. All right, we covered these yesterday. You know, we said that every sentence has to have what? Subject, Subject or predicate. predicate or verb. And what? It has to be a complete idea, correct. So all sentences have these. All right, then most sentences uh, have a phrase or a modifier. All right, for our modifiers, you know, we have generally adjectives and adverbs. Anyone, does anyone remember what, what adjectives modify? What parts of speech? Nouns or what? Words that replace nouns are called? Pronouns, yeah. So adjectives modify nouns or pronouns. Adverbs basically modify everything else for the most part. So if we color code this a little bit, let's take a look at a sentence. All right, we'll mark this in a sentence and we'll use this to help us uh, on the activity. So subjects, we'll leave in black. Predicates, we'll make red. Or verbs, anyway. We'll just go simple predicate or simple verb on this next one. Okay, main clause, we'll put in blue. Phrase, we'll go brown. Okay, green. All right, we'll do four modifiers. All right, so let's put a sentence up. We'll go through and find these. All right, so if I had the sentence on uh, in, in my story and I wanted to check and make sure it was a complete sentence and it wasn't a fragment, I could say, um, I could say Shay dribbles to the rim slowly. No, don't, don't, don't put that evil on him. I need him this season. So, this is, Shay, this is obviously a fictional story. It is a fictional story. Right, because otherwise it would have a slam dunk in there somewhere. You know? All right, so what's our subject? <laughs> Technically, you're right. This is English, or language arts. And I'm glad you said that because anyway, we should start with the verb or the action anyway. What, what's our verb or our predicate here? Dribbles. Okay, once we find the... The verb we want to ask who dribbles? Shay. All right. Um, how about so that that creates our clause, our main clause? Shay dribbles. Okay. We have, that's our independent clause. All right. Where is our modifier or our word that describes dribbling or Shay? Slowly. Okay. What's it modifying? It's telling us how he dribbles. Yeah, so that's going to be an adverb. Okay, to the to the rim. What is that? It's a phrase, right? Yeah, it's a phrase. Okay, so we have so our sentence. So this is a sentence. It checks out. In order to be a sentence, it just needs this stuff in blue, right? Because it has to be subject. Has to have a verb. All right, this makes a, an independent clause. It's a complete thought. I can just say Shay dribbles. You know, it's a statement. You know, uh, you know and then if I wanted to make it a true story, you know, I could edit it, right? I could, you know, dribbles to the rim slowly, comma, but that's because he's about to two-hand dunk on someone, right? Now it's, a, now it's a true story. True story. There we go. All right, so when we look at this, these are the things, or these are the most common parts of a sentence. If we look at the paper that is in front of most of you, and I printed yours off, so I'll give you yours in just a moment. So what we're going to do on this finding sentence fragments, and you can get the answers off classroom. I already put them up in a little bit. Um, look at the first two sentences. It says, I share a room with my sister, period, the messiest person in the world, period. All right, which one of those is a fragment? The messiest person in the world. The messiest person in the world, right, because that doesn't have any type of predicate or action with it. So in order to fix this, okay, what I would do, is I'd use some proofreading marks, right, and I'd change it to make it a complete thought. I put I share a room with my sister, comma. So I'd use a little TP with a comma inside of it. This means insert, and whatever you're inserting in there, putting the TP. All right, then I'd put the messiest person in the world, and I would decapitalize the letter T, and that's what the backslash does. All right, so my finished product would be I share a room with my sister. I'm going to use the X to wipe out that period. I'm going to insert a comma. And I'm going to decapitalize the letter T to say the messiest person in the world. So what I want you to do is just take a look at this. We're only doing a paragraph on here. I'm not giving you a big worksheet and having you go through and do a bunch of sentences. Because the point of this is 
You need to be able to look at your story or someone else's and check it for complete sentences. Make sure I don't have any fragments. If so, this is how I'd fix it. Uh, and you have a couple options on fixing that. You can cut words out. Uh, you can add punctuation and add words. You can change how the sentence is worded. Uh, you could take you know, a, a sentence and a fragment and then um, combine them and add a conjunction to make it one complete sentence. You, know, you can do a lot of different things. So how you change it is up to you. Uh, but in a little bit, I'll put up my answer key and show you what I did with this so you can get an idea of what I was trying to do. Yours might be a little bit different and that's okay because you might have a little different writing style, but everyone should be able to identify the fragments in here that don't have our necessary parts of the sentence. Does that make sense? Any questions?